Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Part 23. And in the last part, um, I kind of don't know what happened. I think Hadley and the other siblings went out drinking because Hadley's having marriage problems. Um, and it, I haven't recorded this in so long. Mostly because, I don't know, I just haven't been in a Sims 4 mood lately. I like, I, I like the Decades Challenge. I don't know. It was the only, one of the Sims 4 LPs that I was really in the mood for. And I feel like that's because I love like, period pieces, like, set in, like, the old time periods. Anyways, but here we are, and I was setting up for the episode, and, and we're in Mallory's household. Juliet gave birth. I was like, excuse me? Juliet was pregnant? And yet, Juliet gave birth to Kim, Zig, and Chloe. <laughs> yeah, she did. I was just setting up for the episode, and it was like, it did, like, it popped up the thing. I was like, did Mallory just give birth or something? I was like, is Mallory pregnant? But then it was like, Juliet has given birth. I was like, I'm sorry, what? So I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't even know she was pregnant. So I want to go look in at the family tree and see who it is. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, so apparently it was the next virgin birth. Okay. Okay. We have had our... So they're like, dog Jesus. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, Mallory. This is Mallory's house. Let's look at it. Let's do a little tour. Um, she lives in this house. I converted it from a, like... I think this is Katerina's house. I'm, I'm honestly... No, that's Katerina's house. Yeah, that's Katerina's house. And we live in this house. And it was... I'm pretty sure it was like... I don't know. Is it... What is it? Like a, like a loft apartment thingy, but, um, I converted it to two bedrooms, so. Um, and it's right next to the dogs, right next to this, like, torn up dock, and so here is our first floor. Our first floor, it's got our kitchen, our living room, this kind of little, oh, Juliet's bed, the little play area for the dog, Mallory's yoga mat, and then, um... Morgan's little play things. Um, we have a backyard, kind of. Not really. And then we go upstairs into the second floor. And there's a lot of glass. And I kind of, I, I'm kind of digging it. We have our one bathroom with our, we have a tub. We have a shower. We have, you know, everything. You know, the fixings. We have Mallory's room, her wardrobe. And then this part, I think this was all just put together. And I think I just squat it. But this is Morgan's room. I gave him... I I think this household was probably there. I have no idea, though. I did renovations to this household at some point. It was a while ago when Mallory first moved in. But, you know, he lives there. And, you know, this is probably really unsafe. But, like, I look at it as it's like the wall is, like, just as tall as this bookshelf. And, you know, he's not going to be, like, climbing over. Um... You know, but usually, you know, if you have a toddler, you probably wouldn't want to give them a room with a ledge. But that would just be, that would just be me, just to be safe. But Mallory is inviting somebody over because things have gotten a little spicy. I'll give it that. Things have gotten spicy. Um, talk about your day to him. So, oh, we have to look at Mallory's traits. Mallory is romantic, a dog lover, ambitious, and business savvy. She wants to be fabulously wealthy. And she is an assistant to the manager. She's level three in the business career. But I think at one point I want to, because within the next, I think, month or so, The Sims 4 is introducing a new patch or whatever. And, you know, and it's got, like, um, terrain manipulation or whatever. And a new career, which is, the, I think it's the style influencer. So, I think I'm going to have Mallory take that over at some point, maybe. I don't really, because I want to explore it, you know. It's like an active career. I don't know how often we'll explore it, or if she'll be the only one to have the fashion influencer career, but I feel like she'd work it. But, yeah, this is her career. Um, She's level four in charisma, level three in fitness, and level seven in wellness, because when she first moved here, why, well, actually, Probably, like, in the city, she was, like, a spa person. She probably worked for the spa in the city, and that's when Mallory came. Not Mallory. Um, Hadley came. And they had, they went to the, the gym together, and for Mallory's yoga class. 
But now she's moved to the Bay. She has that business career. And, um, what's in her inventory? A box. <laughs> a box, a pile of feathers, and dog crap. I don't like that. I don't like that I can pick up the dog crap. Like, just clean it up. Okay. And then we have Morgan, her son, who is wild. And then we have her dog, Juliet, who is like our typical... She's kind of like Georgette from Oliver and Company, the Disney movie. Like, that's how I envisioned her. But she's Juliet. And she's hairy, smart, and stubborn. She's like a priss. And then we have her children. Kip, who is Hunter, stubborn, and hairy. Zig, who is stubborn and aggressive. And Chloe, who is stubborn and hairy. So, you know, good for them. Good for them. But Mallory's relationships, how are they? Um, she doesn't have any real kind of reputable friends. I think her and Summer Holiday would be friends, but I couldn't find, I couldn't get her in like a club with me because she just wouldn't show up. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, here we go. Um, let's make some ice cream. Craft ice cream. Let's do vanilla. Morgan returned from daycare. That's great. That was like five minutes too late. Is that person I invited over coming? Or did they say they weren't coming? Oh, no. oh my god. Ah, uh, busy. Dang. Unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna try to teleport the puppies inside. Um. Teleport. Teleport. And teleport. So, one, two, or zero. Sweetie, teleport. There we go. Okay, they're all inside. Okay, good for them. So they can all get the food and stuff. Good for them. But after you finish making this ice cream, I kind of want you to, not you, I kind of want you to try to start teaching Juliet to use these things. Um, like on fire. Um, command Juliet to use, because we didn't do the pet training skill. Juliet, good for her. Whatever. But, wow. But, yeah, I just thought it'd be cute to introduce Mallory, you know? She's just kind of been... Um, do I need to reset you? Because it says you're still at daycare, but you're obviously not. Reset. Go here. Slide, I guess. I don't know. He won't... I don't like that. They just... Okay, here he is. Mallory finished crafting the ice cream. Good for her. Um, Mallory, why are you running? After you do that, where's the ice cream? Oh, it's in her thing. Okay, so we can, does this like go bad? Yeah. Okay, so set the garnish as the peppermint and set the topping. Excuse me, Mallory. Thank you. Um, and set the topping as whipped cream. I don't know. Oh my god. Ugh, I wish I'd gotten a screenshot of that. She just fell through. Okay, do it again. I want to get a picture. Okay. If she falls, I want to get a picture of her falling through it. You got this girl. You got this. Command Juliet to use it. Do it. Do what I tell you to do. Nintendo Dogs ain't got nothing on this. I remember. Did you ever guys ever play the Nintendo Dogs? It was like from like 2007, and you had to run the obstacle course to get all the money. I never did like the obedience training ones where you had to like teach them commands, but I always did the obstacle course ones. Oh, it's a dog thing. How cute. We have a dog door. Oh, she made it! Good for you. Okay, so... Pet care. Do I praise? Do I praise? Friendly. Um... Praise. And then we'll command her to use this. Okay, but you... Oh my god, I can... I'm still floored that we have three more puppies. Like, everybody's always 
given birth to three. Like, Barry gave birth to three puppies. Juliet has given birth to three puppies without even having a mate. Like, that's wild. Um, I want you to open this. Morgan, what are you doing? No, Morgan. Um, play with toys. Play with the action figures. Oh, and there was a ball in there. Well, we have one, so good for that. Um, uh, actually, you can also Instagram. Juliet. Um. Um. There's not a good way to do this. Can I, like, move? Um, oh, I never mind. Um, I was the camera thing kind of was a little bit more free in the Sims 4, but you know, it's fine. Um, give her a treat, and then we'll start teaching her to sit. And then we'll try to invite over that person again. Um, I guess I'll, I'll invite him over later. When is his, when does he work? Uh, I have no idea. It's fine. And then, I guess you can do, do some yoga. I should, you should probably, we'll put this in the fridge. And then we'll have her make dinner after she does a little bit of yoga. So, cook. She, can she cook? Not really. Um. She'll make superfood salad. She's probably, like, really healthy. Or something. Good for her, though. Okay, can you probably, like, a... Oh, some sore. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna practice yoga. You're just gonna make dinner. Okay, come on, kid. I wanna get a picture of Morgan, because I feel like... Actually, Morgan, go down the slide. I wanna get a picture of Morgan coming down the slide. I feel like it'd be cute. Ooh. Oh. Thanks, Malcolm. I was hoping it'd be from, like, a, a love interest, possibly. But, you know, who knows? Come on. Go down the slide. I want a picture. I want a picture. You may wonder why we're not in the real household, but, you know, they're important, too. Mallory and um, this one are important. Slide. What's wrong? Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Unfortunate. Can you not? You can't go. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Um, can you climb the slide? No. Oh, then why can it sit there? If I can't use it. It can sit there just fine, so why can't... Okay, try this. Actually, I don't like it. It just works right there. Okay. Just put it there. It's fine. It'll still look ugly. Slide. Okay, he'll just ram himself into the wall now. Okay. Is he gonna... Slide! Why can he not go down the slide? What, go down the slide! Why can he not go down the slide? I'm sorry, can he not go down the slide? Whatever. Whatever, I guess we won't be getting a cute picture. Okay, Mallory... Can you now invite this person over? I think I could. Oh. Is he gonna go down? No, he's not gonna go down the slide. What is the point of this then? 
What is the point of the slide if he's not going to go down it? Okay, Mel. Um, friendly. Discuss interests. Friendly. We'll get to know, too. I feel like they know each other pretty well, though, honestly. Mallory. Simsor. Okay. Yeah, come inside. We don't want you to get wet. Because we don't have a dryer. I don't have a dryer. So. I like laundry day, don't get me wrong. But, like, it's just really... I like it better. I like laundry better in The Sims 3. I get I said that a lot about The Sims 4, but I liked it better in The Sims 3. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Why are they... Why are they standing out in the rain? Chat here. What is the point of standing out in the rain? He's non-committal. Good for him. <laughs> they are literally standing out in the rain. Is there at least, like, a thing? No! They're just standing out in the rain. What is the... Sims 4 is so stupid. Like, did the people in The Sims 3, did they stand out in the rain? Did they legitimately move a conversation from inside when there was a thunderstorm? Stop. Stop. Just stop. Go back. Go inside. Go here. Nobody's going outside. Go inside. Just go inside. Like, what is the point of this? No, stop talking to your child. Go. Chat here. You do not get to go outside either. <laughs> chat inside. Liter literally, just chat inside. So, romance. Compliment his appearance. Romance. Um, what else? Can I compliment, like, exchange numbers? It's the Payboy Bean, Simona Sarah. Um, what do I want to do? Um, flirt. And then, do a pickup line, maybe. And then, compliment his appearance again. See, this is working. Romance. Um, confess your attraction. Why does, why does this happen? He's gonna go watch TV? No. I'm gonna turn it off. You're not watching TV. Just go talk to me. Um, romance. Um. Come on, his parents again. I hate when you go into other Sims, like, the other people's houses in The Sims 4 and start to, like, even, like, sit down on their furniture, they're like, that's inappropriate, you need to leave. But, like, when they do it to you, they, you, they just, oh, it's stupid. I don't understand. Um, flirt. And then romance. Hold hands. And then romance. First kiss. I hope everybody knows that I understand, I understand the scandalousness of this situation. Like I'm, like I know full and well what, what's happening. I'm not just ignoring it. We're not rebooting pets and just ignoring everything that's happened previously. Like this is, this is happening. This is happening. It's just a fact of life. Okay. Okay. Like, I, like, I get that I'm acting really nonchalant about this, but, like, it's been planned. It was planned. Okay. I, stop watching TV. Um, you can invite him to stay the night. Invite him to stay the night, away from his wife and his child, who's also your best friend. And then, 
I want them to go for it. Passionate kiss. Oh, shut up. Stop it. You're fine. You're fine. Go to sleep. Just go to sleep. It's fine. I don't know if he can climb up large stairs, but you know, it's gonna be a test. Um, go to sleep. Can he not? He cannot climb the big stairs. I don't understand why. Why can't they climb stairs? Like, it's just a fact. It's just so inconvenient. Like, I get realistically they wouldn't be able to climb stairs, but, you know, here we go. Did I get them to go? No. Okay, so... We're gonna go wardrobe. Woohoo with Brayden. Okay, puppies, you need to calm yourselves down because you weren't even planned and yet here you are. Being just as inconvenient as the original trio of puppies. Oh, this is cute! Juliet, how cute. I'm gonna get a picture of this. I love how she has, like, an entire half of this, like, playroom area dedicated to her dog. Like, this is so cute. Like, she is, like, she has a frou-frou poodle. She's stealing somebody's man. Like, I love it. Oh, let me put the salad in the fridge. Before it goes to waste. Oof. Don't check on your baby. Your baby is going to sleep. Your baby's gonna go to sleep. You go. Go, girl. This is your moment. I don't necessarily know why you want to do this, but, you know, here we are. I think, honestly, here's my, um, my two cents on st as to why this is happening from a story standpoint. From a Let's Play standpoint, actually, from a, from, like, an outside perspective, from a story standpoint, um, Hadley, because we, from a game standpoint, I guess, we had to, we accidentally sold the business when they moved. So, Hadley, basically, in the story, she had to sell the business, sell her vet clinic to, um, buy that house that they live in now, and then she had to rebuy it back. So now it's like, you know, still, it's, she has to rebuild it from the bottom. And so she's been spending so much time at work, and Brayden, I guess he's lonely or whatever, I don't know. I don't know, and Mallory was all too ready. With open arms and open legs. Oh, but like, you know, we don't slut shame here. Just kidding. Just kidding. If you're being slutty, you're like, Alice Cooper from Riverdale said it best. Slut shaming is when sluts get shamed. <laughs> no other way to put it. <laughs> but like, oh my God, I didn't know she'd disappear. Oh, that was weird. Um, but you know, here they are. <laughs> but yeah, this is happening. This is happening. What will come of this? I have no idea. Um, but you know, I'm sure the drama will proceed. Wow. This part was a lot more entertaining than like the past like three. <laughs> go, go, go it. I'm shocked I didn't have this on like a part like 25. I'm shocked, honestly. But you know, I guess. There's probably something else that happens on part 25 and I'm just not, and I just don't know of it yet because my series plans are on my other computer and my com other computer is asleep now. I checked what was happening in this part and I let it go. So, um, he's staying the night, so good for him. He can do whatever the hell he wants. But yeah, you need to go to the bathroom and then he can sleep wherever he wants. I don't care. And then it's midnight, so you can go to sleep. Yeah, he can take a bath. I don't care. But you can go to sleep. You want to be friendly with Brayden. Sure. Ooh, do we need... Does she have one of those... A thermostat thingy? Have I played Cats and Dogs since Seasons came out? I have. I just don't know if I... Put thermostat in every, in every house. Um, I can buy one now, though. I don't think she necessarily needs it right now. Um... Filter packs seasons. Where is it? Um, yeah, right here. Um, it can go right here next to the door. Oh, and she needs one of these too. 
yeah, the decoration box. Um, yeah, we'll put it under the stairs. It'll be so cute. I still have not gone ice skating or roller skating in any of my Let's Plays. We're gonna go, we're gonna do that in the next part of Seasons, in like part seven. I'm gonna record that right after this. And we're gonna go ice skating or roller skating, whatever the hell season we're in. We're gonna go. But, wow. Um, this is a really just a shocking turn of events. Not really, but you know. So, I think we're gonna end the part here because, you know, the timer is gonna go off in 24 seconds. So, wow, the scandalousness of it all. So, in the next episode, we'll probably return to one of the main families, but, you know, we will have to deal with the repercussions and the possible fallout of this situation. And,. What effects it has for Brayden and Mal Mallory. No. Brayden and Hadley's marriage and Hadley and Mallory's friendship. So, who knows. But that is going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!